strong. Hey everyone, we're going to go in for some general hip maintenance today. First and foremost, we're going to see how our internal and external rotation feels. Take your legs nice and long in front of you. Bring your feet about hip width apart. Flex your toes back towards your face and try to sit up as nice and tall as you can. Take your hands by your side. From here, let's see how our internal rotation is feeling. Physically take your toes and internally rotate them until they almost touch each other. From here, we're trying to assess how our knees are internally rotating and how our hips feel at the same time. Good, we're going to push through our toes. So you're trying to think about middle section of your foot and then all the way to the top section of your foot. Externally rotating open through the toes, trying to touch the pinky toe to the ground. External rotation with the knees and the hips. Flex all the way back towards your face and we're going to make that full ankle rotation all the way in again. Good. Pushing through the toes, opening it all the way up and then flexing it back towards your face. Solid. Take it at your own pace. Here, we're trying to understand or acknowledge in our body what is happening in our hamstrings sometimes, our hips most times when we internal and external rotate, and how our ankles are feeling. So visually take a look at those ankles and see if it's making a full circle. Sometimes it makes a triangle, sometimes it makes an octagon, and it depends on our connectors, our neural connectors, on how our ankles are actually moving. You might notice that one is a little bit more flowy than the other. Are you able to focus more on the ankle that you don't connect so much with? Good, let's change directions. External rotation, so opening first, knees are open, hips are open, push through the balls of your foot, internally rotate, and then flex it all the way back towards your face. Keep that rotation going. Are you able to add a little bit more with how the foot is functioning? So as you are rotating that ankle, are you able to understand how maybe you push the middle section of your foot, the top, and then the toes push all the way open? Once you've connected with your foot, foot are you able to connect with your hip so keeping that nice tall position and opening from the hip does something feel stuck does something feel stabby and what is that last rotation perfect coming back into a neutral position relax those legs out keeping that chest up nice and tall pull the rib cage in and relax the shoulders down let's see where we are in our slide for our foot Flex a foot, lift up nice and tall with that chest, and you're going to slowly bring the heel right into your hip. Perfect. Now from here, depending on how far you've pulled it, wrap your hands around that knee. Give it a little bit extra tightness around the shin. Lift up nice and tall and just feel what's happening in that hip. So what does your hip flexor feel like? Is it a part of your hamstring that's pulling? Is it the front of your hip? Do you feel it in your shin? Depending on how we've used our body is depending on how we are feeling it in our body. Good. And then we're going to let it go and with our hands, slightly allow the heel to slide down by itself. Let's add some breath work. Inhale. Exhale. Opposite side pulls up. Drive the heel right into the hip. How far can it go? Once you've reached your maximum range of motion, take your hands to the front of that knee. Lift up tall through the chest. Give it a good squeeze. Again, acknowledging how this side feels. Let the hands go and then slowly allow that foot to come all the way back down. Let's go two more back and forth. Inhale, exhale, heel drives all the way up, still sitting up nice and tall. Once you've hit your maximum range of motion, give it a good pull, lift that chest up. Hands are all the way out, let the heel drive back down. Inhale, exhale, drive the heel into your hip. Hit the maximum range of motion, your body can well, do. <laughs> and then bring the hands right to that shin. Lift up nice and tall. And slowly let the hands go. Last one back and forth. Heel slides all the way back out. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the heel right into the hip. Grip the knee. Sit up tall. Give it a good squeeze. Hands come out to the side. Let the heel slide all the way back down. Inhale. Exhale. Heel drives into the hip. Hands wrap. Sit up nice and tall. Hold. And slowly allow that heel all the way whew, back out. Nice. 
So those are two amazing ways to assess how your hips are feeling. Start there, and we'll continue later. Ciao.